right, so I'm starting in this little entry way because I need to get it ready for Halloween. Uh, so the wallpaper is going to go, you guys. Since I did the black there, I think I'm going to just transition the black over here. Um, I had plans for this, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep it simple, keep it funky. And just repaint this white and this black. Go ahead and uh, touch up the trim, all that good stuff. Uh, so that's what I'm about to do now. I love this wallpaper, but it has to come down. started painting <laughs> I just started painting and I'm going to paint this wall white so the only dilemma that I have now is the doors I'm thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting those as well one thing always leads to it a few hours later we're here I don't know how we ended up here but we're here I just saw the bottom half of the wall and I said just let's just paint the doors let's just go ahead and paint the doors so this is what we're doing I'll be back with an update okay so this is how it looks I have uh, what's that stuff I know somebody's gonna ask me about it I have I have the mask and peel on the actual windows oops so you can see the, I have to peel that off, but I love it. Oh my God, I have to clean up the wall just a little bit, like the little white areas. I think I'm gonna do that now. But what do you guys think? I repainted this area back white. You can see it was that gray. I can't reach up there, Justin has to get up there take the van off I'm gonna spray paint that black but I love it oh my god it's perfect So I got it painted and I'm the first to say that I am not against the gold accents. Of course, I think those now need to be updated, but I'm not against the gold. I'm really, really not against the gold because I think paired with the, the right colors, the golds match perfectly. Of course, I would probably need to replace the hinges and update the hardware. But of course, we're not doing that now. Uh, but I'm solely trying to get this area done because I have Halloween plans, girl, to go over here and I'm just trying to set everything up. When Justin gets home, he needs to finish painting up here so I can finally put all my furniture up because I think I'm actually gonna start the decor of Halloween in the living room tomorrow. So, I love it, I'm so, happy with the decision to go black here i was so terrified of this i am not gonna hold y'all there's a few little areas that i have to get 
um, the paint out, but I love it, you guys. What do you think? So I'm here with a really quick haul. I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Shein. Hold on, I am so thirsty. I'm not gonna say a whole bunch of stuff. I ordered a few pieces off of Shein that I thought were really cute because I'm trying to gear out of Halloween into Thanksgiving, Christmas. So, uh, there's a few items on the site that I loved and I wanted to share with you guys. The first item, I actually have them on my feet right now because they're so comfortable. These <laughs> house shoes from Shein. Um, little jack-o'-lantern house shoes. They're probably dirty because I've been mocking them. But they're so stinking cute. Look at that. Crazy thing is I saw these shoes initially on Amazon. And I was about to, like, they were in my cart. I was about to hit purchase. And then something just told me, just look on Shein. They were $19.99 from Amazon. Shein had them for $9. And of course, you guys know, once you use their 15% off, 10% off, sometimes even 20% off coupons, depending on how much you have in your cart, that knocks the price down even more. So I think I got these shoes for like $7, honestly. But they are so comfortable and they are the exact same ones from Amazon. Next, I picked up this pumpkin here. I thought it was gonna be fluffier. I don't know. I thought it, it, it came really flat, like the packaging that it came in was really smushed. So I just thought it was gonna be a little bit fluffier. Maybe if I fluff it up a little bit, I can get, okay, now we're up, oh, we're growing, look at that. I see this was a grower, not a shower. Okay, so now it looks more like a pumpkin. And of course I see these in like Hobby Lobby, Home Goods all the time. And this one was like really cheap. I'll put the price on here as well. But I just thought that this would be cool to throw on like the bed because it is like that soft material, I don't know. I don't wanna say pillow material, but you guys know what I mean. Look at that, it's huge now compared to when I first showed you, so that's good. The next few items I got were all clothes for Marley for Halloween. I saw this little uh, sweater, jack-o'-lantern sweater, and I died. I love this. Really comfortable, really soft, so if you have little ones, I got this in a four, a four wide. If you have little ones and you don't want to buy, because sometimes Walmart and Target's clothes get to be a little expensive and you know, if your kid grows really fast and you're spending like a shirt like this at Target would have been $20. I think I got this for like $8, less, probably less than that. So cute, I cannot wait for her to wear this in October. Like I'm waiting for uh, the weather to cool down of course, but so cute. Next thing I got, I don't know why as a mother, I feel like every child needs to own a pair of overalls. So I got Marley, this cute pair of overalls. We tried them on her already. They're a little big, but that's the look that I'm going for. In the fall, I just like to pair like denim and black and whites or like denim and a solid color and some cute chucks. And it's an outfit for me. A cute bow in her hair, so cute. So I grabbed a pair of overalls. The next item I grabbed was this cute little jack-o'-lantern sweater and this is really thick so hopefully it gets cold enough for Marley to wear this this fall slash winter because this is this is like a winter sweater material it's a really thick this one I couldn't pass up it was so stinking cute but it's a boy's shirt so it's just a little ghost <laughs> sweater here this I did find this in the boy section of Shein, I got it in a 4Y. Again, the material is really thick, so uh, they can wear this when it's really chilly outside. Hi, Marley, what's wrong? I'm so angry. Why are you so angry? I'm so angry because I want to. You want to what? I need to call out for It's always nice to have a child that can understand when they need to check themselves. <laughs> the next item I grabbed were these little ghosty leggings and 
Marley is four years old, but she still is a size 3T. Like there was a dress in her closet that was a 2T that she could still wear. So she's still very tiny. So I don't, I, I made a mistake and bought her a bunch of like 4T pants and leggings and they are all too big. Like she'll be wearing those leggings when she's about five, six. So I got this in a 3T. The material is a little sheer. It's not crazy to wear. Like you'll see their underwear or anything under, but um, it's kind of sheer, but it has cute little ghosties on it. And I was thinking about pairing these two together. Isn't that cute? Oh my God. So that was all of the Halloween pieces that I got from Marley. I'm gearing more into Christmas items because that's what I'm shopping for now. You guys know that I purchased the uh, blanket from Hobby Lobby. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. But I did find some pillow covers that are really similar. I don't remember what size these were. Of course, I'll have everything linked. But these are really close to the... Um, the design i'm wondering if it's a universal print i don't know but they're really close i did get two of them i did want to do these for the living room now i'm not too sure because i do like to decorate the bedroom excuse me for um hol holidays so i don't know yet i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do in the bedroom i think i do i think i'm gearing more towards like the neutral tones in the bedroom and the black and whites and the greens and the wood wood pieces and the, i don't know it, it's a lot to think about we'll get there when we get there the next item i picked up and it's actually on my phone this is my phone here um i did get this little ghosty phone case here i'm obsessed with ghosts ghost and skull this holiday season i'm obsessed so i got this this was like a dollar i don't know like everything when you shop on shein you're cutting the middleman out. So a phone case like that in like a store would have definitely been like $10, close to $20. That was only like a dollar and some change. So I got that. I picked up these cool nails. Now what I'm noticing about my press-ons is I don't like my press-ons if I don't have a manicure. Like I'm actually waiting to get a manicure this week. So uh, I don't like the way my press-ons look. When I, my, my nails, like my cuticles and everything aren't pulled back, the extra skin is off so i'm gonna wait but these were really cute i'm not a big fan of pink but i thought these were super cute and girly again a dollar and some change the next pair i got i don't even know why i got the oh they are halloween nails because they do have little ghosties on them this is more my style because you guys know i love just plain black nails these are really cute again a dollar and some change i grabbed and i've actually seen these in store i'm actually really excited to put these on i had some like the similar but they were super cheaply made i'm pretty i'm pretty sure these are cheaply made as well uh but i thought these were cute how many comes in here i can't tell hopefully 24 but i got those and i got these for everyday look specifically for fall um, I like the way the ombre look here. I loved how they had these uh, packaged. And you got, I get 96 nails. I didn't know there were 96 nails in here. So again, I don't even think that this was more than like two or three dollars. So love that. Went a little Halloween crazy, so sorry. The next pair I got were these cute ones here with little spider webs. So adorable. I got another pink set. I don't know why I got so many pink sets. I'm not a pink girl. Maybe I thought the ghosties were cute. And the last pair I got, I, I think I was just shopping girl because I don't even know why I got these. So that is my haul. We are officially shopping for mostly Christmas now because I think I have a bunch of Thanksgiving and fall that I need to go through. Of course, I will do my Thanksgiving inventory and eventually my Christmas inventory because we got a lot and we're just going to start condensing a lot of this stuff. So, all right, we are haul, not Halloween, we are Christmas shopping for the house now. So, everything that we're looking at is sort of going to be for Christmas. These are really cute, they would match the uh, felt trees that I had 30 $23.99 and they have some standing ones down there really cute I 
think I have plenty of these. I'm not sure. $8.99. 50% off. Of course, they have all of the buffalo check. I don't think I'm doing a lot of buffalo check this holiday season. I don't think I need to. So you guys know the ornament balls that I had, the little felt ones, I did not realize they were as popular as they were. They come in like neutral tones as well, but obviously those are really popular because nobody can find them in Hobby Lobby. Let me see if I can see them. We have the regular ones here. I thought these were it, but no, these are like different finishes. This one as well. Just got different finishes on them. But apparently they are extremely popular because I don't even see them on the floor anymore. I think this aisle is so adorable. It's like a gumdrop thing. These actually look real. Ashley texted me, today is Monday, she texted me yesterday, and she sent me a freaking picture of the Santa's head, and I was like, oh my god, and she got it for me, oh my god. So I do have the Santa's head, I found it this year, so excited. Guys, I don't even know where to start with this. You guys remember the last dilemma that I had with Comcast automatically sending me uh, equipment that I didn't need when I initially called for an extra box. If you don't know, go back to the last weekly vlog. If I remember to link it here, I will. Yesterday I was working, I was at my workstation. I got like a message that said, thank you for your Xfinity payment. So I said, let me look at the phone, let me look at the calendar. It's not the date that I set the payment up. I know Justin wouldn't have set it up, so why is the system saying that I've made a payment when it's before the actual payment that I had set up? I look on my account, and usually my account, it'll tell me your next payment due is so-and-so, so-and-so. Girl, it said the next payment due was zero dollars. And I said, whoa! Wait a minute. Why is it saying that a payment posted? So I get to look it on my account and I'm like, who set up auto pay? So I get on the phone, hello, talking to Comcast. Girl, long story short, the lady that set me up with the modem that I didn't need, she took it upon herself to put my account on auto pay so she can send me some shit that I didn't need. And Comcast took a good chunk out of my account. Girl, I'm, I'm on AT&T trying to see what plans they have, how much it is monthly, because I don't, I don't think I can do Xfinity anymore. I don't think I can do Comcast anymore. She has caused a whole mess. Oh, I got a representative today that was so sweet. Even she was shocked by what happened. I said, no, she was telling me that I needed more internet service. She didn't tell me anything. Nothing, nothing. Times are hard out here for everybody. Miss Mr. Comcast people, I'm this close to canceling my services. Because all of this really could have been avoided. 
all of this honestly could have been avoided. When it happened, because this happened like two days ago when they pulled the money from my account. So I immediately called and the guy immediately created me a, te uh, a ticket. They were going to research it, blah, blah, blah. So the lady today told me um, whoever had my ticket today denied the request for everything to be refunded. Girl, I already disputed it with my bank. So the cash is going back to my car. Now we're up in limbo about if I need to keep my services with Comcast. And the only thing that I'm holding on to is that I work from home and you know, I need my internet services, but I don't work this weekend. And I can pretty much get an AT&T technician out here probably this weekend if I call now. It's Thursday. Because what the, what the fuck is this? I told her, I said, you've been extremely helpful, extremely sweet. I need a supervisor to contact me about this situation. Because of an incompetent representative, this has created a whole mess that is not my fault. Because the crazy part is, I automatically go and set up payments myself. I had a payment coming out this weekend. So if I wouldn't have called the lady today, they would have taken an extra $200 on top of what they took already out of my account in a week. Make it make sense. Somebody has to make this right. Y'all gotta knock an another 200 off the account or something, bro, cause this is ridiculous. Because this lady didn't listen to my, re my initial request, first of all, like that's embarrassing in itself. I'm gonna enroll you in auto pay. Girl, I, when I say I'm heated, I am heated. Comcast has lost their mind. You know what I thought was so weird? When you order something, and you, you may know this if you have their services. When you order something, they send you a confirmation via text. So you have to click the link in order to say, okay, this is a rundown of what I'm getting. Like, which is, technology is smart. It's an easy way to take care of things. I thought it was weird that in order for me to okay what I was being sent, it asked me something about auto pay. It's mama's just enrolled me in auto pay. I'm gonna update y'all on this situation. All right guys, hi. We're here, because we're about to try and cut Justin's hair. Do I have all of the tools that I need? No. I, I need a, a comb. Oh no, <laughs> they're Some curved. Scissors. This is the only pair of scissors I own. Yeah, but those are curved. It's not gonna give you a straight cut. Yeah, I'll do it now and a oh spray bottle. Eddie, get some scissors. I can't use big scissors for that. Did you, that's dumb. Why did you make- There's gotta be different scissors. scissors. These are curved. And clippers. So, I need to learn, start learning how to comb his hair, do his hair. And I'm actually watching a YouTube video. You nervous? Yeah. Don't Worst case scenario, wear a hat for six weeks. <laughs> I want you to keep this. I want the, I like the long hair. I want you to keep the long but hair. But it looks good like when it's grown out, but you gotta, don't, you gotta make yeah, sure gotta it looks sure right I on the sides. Correctly. My only thing was I didn't know how to cut this off. And I watched a video, I watched YouTube, and they show me exactly how to cut it off. Do I got a big head? You have a huge fucking head. Thanks. Let's see. I would recommend starting off with a number so four guard. Today, for this example ahead. haircut, I'm going to use... Start at six and we'll just see what six does. Turn this way. Straight or am I too tall? No, you didn't. Start from the nape of the neck and work your way up to the occipital bone or the line where the head begins to curve. Right Use a scooping motion to pull the clippers away. <laughs> you, Don't. you look terrible! <laughs> This is the occipital. All right, now, I don't know if she said occipital. Uh, take, do a little spot, and okay. we'll see what we'll we see. look like. Here we go. You already know how to cut it on. 
What did it do? It's fair enough. How much? Yeah, a lot. Why are you laughing? Give me a mirror. Oh, that's a lot of hair. <laughs> Your hair was long. We shaved it down. What's it look like? So. <laughs> Can't fucking stop now. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Your hair. It wasn't too much, is it? No, it's not. Why does it feel bald? I mean, that's where your hairline starts. Your hairline should start about right here. I'm like that dude from fucking... <laughs> I'm like Clint. I need to go up or let them hold it down. I part and then show me what you're doing. <laughs> Later that same evening. All right, guys, we're here for round three. Let me get the comb. The clipper should be fully charged now. It's probably gonna last about 20 minutes again. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take off more of the back right here because it's not even. We back to seven. Six. Six. No, you said you had seven yesterday. No, six. Are oh, we gonna do six? Yeah, we did six. We did. I thought it was seven yesterday. Mm -hmm. Here goes nothing. You went up kind of high on that last no, one. No, no, it's fine. It's it's literally faded. It's doing the so we got the bowl cut thing going back here. Ooh. On the sides again. What? You're scaring me when you overreact like that. So this is that's gotta be blended. Mommy? Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Right now I'm like a mushroom. You should see the back. You can't be like a mushroom. You should see the back. That's not bad. Look at that. Did I get 
where their short hair disappears. Oh my God. Your goal now is to make that this hair, part yeah. but blend in. So you're going to be combing up and then you're going to be taking that off. Because okay. you're not trying to cut, you're just not scooping that up and you're not shaving that off. You got to tilt this forward, you're shaving that off. And they can never achieve that for you. They always give you like the, um, like the standard haircut. This is what you wanted. And this is what I meant, but when I tell you, tell them not to touch the top. And you're like, and but I, they gotta even it but, out. But check this out. I have told them, I don't want the top cut. I want it to blend from here on down, but I want a fade uh, coming down. And they'll, and I've actually had a woman say that, well, I can't do that unless I cut the top. Like literally, I was like, it's, no, no, no. I was like, and I told her, I said, no, 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 no. Stop right here. I want this kind of right. textured. I want this kind of like, you know, how you just brushed yeah. it forward. Cause all that's going to flow. Yeah. It, you see that? That's going to flow. It literally is a haircut. And yeah. I was like, if you could just fade me from right here down and then around the back. And I said, and you're good. And yeah. she was like, I can't do that. That's literally the style. I'm to shave my mustache down. Turn this off. Turn your whole body this way. Turn this off. Turn this off. Turn this How do you do this? Without it going in your mouth. No, you can't stop that. I just uh, uh, trim it off my lip. And, and then, then I kind of... You see how it's like... I don't want to look like a cowboy. So yeah. I try to shave those. Off. I try to just cut those off. but. You know, you don't just go all the way to the skin. Okay? There you go. All right, I'm not doing that one right. Oh, shit. <laughs> you should have stopped. So how did I do? Let me know. Should I keep Tasha as my barber? <laughs> or is she fired? It's actually not bad at all. Let me see. Like, I, and then this is the haircut that Justin always wants whenever he asks for a, a cut, a style. <laughs>